Hey everyone, Dark Seraph here. Last time we left the Taiga, still pissed off about the ending. I didn't even look up if there's another outcome. <coughs> Artyom, you know when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean? I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you will be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Her shot, let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratuja. There are things to discuss. Hey, leave your work for the moment. Come to the bridge. Here. I'm still fucking pissed off about the ending to the Taiga. God damn it, that's loud. I'm gonna cut the audio. No, I'm fucking pissed off about it. They shot at me! You saw me. I went around the harbor. I went around the back way. I found a way to do it sneaky. I found a way to get through there without... Get to that boat without killing a goddamn one of them. But the second I get in the boat, they see me. The second I got in that fucking boat... They saw me. They shot at me. I did not have a goddamn choice. She even acknowledged they're a bunch of cutthroats, and she's pissed off at me? Fuck you, Olga. Fuck you, bitch. You don't know shit. I hope that sediment chokes you out, you fucking whore. Okay, I'm done. Okay, there really is no sound effect volume. It's just volume. Go with that, I guess. That's gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Noxie Pierce was a simple error. What's your wrong? Need? The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost as high as back in Moscow. The shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Noisy Pierce is most probably 
So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not the other way. We go up now. Not all right. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Academ Gorodok labs. Tsara's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? Not an option. That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Remind them, a huge please. railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Academ Gorodok labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we built. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, Yorma does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel Sir. I'm gonna go see if I can find a workbench real quick before we move out to the city. New modifications to the T car. To the T -car. I like the. Let me be clear. I like the T car. The ball buster, as I will continue to call it and refuse to call it anything else. I like the ball buster. I just like the raw damage of the hell of the crossbow more. Seems to be 
buddy. Dude. Dude. My dude. But it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its era were my own. I think I'm going into the final chapter. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. Climbing like crazy. I think there will be no nutcases this time. Yeah. Let's hope. But if Novosibirsk is anything like Moscow, that would mean that people probably survive like in the metros. Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Let's do it. Follow me. something for the Aurora there. Staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. To hell and back. Damn sure try. Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Goodbye, Uncle Artem. I miss you, kid. No, I like the kid. Hush, shh. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope you'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. 
Камин, Артем. I'll get that medicine if it's the last thing I fucking do. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. All my weapons. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow or you could... Loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. This is my last chance to prepare any unnecessary equipment. What? Uh, oh, that? Oh, wow, they gave me a bunch of shit. Okay. Well, we got another rail car? Oh no, it's just a regular car. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. We will. Was it around the other side? Yeah, oh, there's a door. back. All those carriages stuck here. They failed evacuation. That's a safe assumption. Let me check something really quick. Try to get into this square behind the Yeah, that didn't seem to make any difference. Should be there. I can barely hear you. It's a good thing we have subtitles. We can handle this. Oh, and the reason I can barely hear him is because of how I have my headset on. I think we can get out through there. Hold on. Uh, just I know I keep doing this. No, it literally is just on the left ear that I can hear him. I think it's probably because it's on Artyom's left side. Time for driving in circles. 
All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. I'm yes. just roll should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Yeah, um, the so much the metro stations of Russia, or Moscow anyway, are actual are fallout shelters. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Probably so the American Don't subway stations as well. Down. It's a remnant of the Cold War. Cold War can be some can be summed up as history's biggest dick measuring contest. Ah, oh, Jesus. Go straight here. Careful, Arthur. Careful. Yeah, I'm being careful. Come on. Something I've noticed is this game has kind of stepped away from more supernatural elements of the first two and is more grounded. Lead the way. Yeah, be quiet. Watch. Oof. time they thought the war was still going on but if I had to make an assumption war's been over since they dropped the bombs it's all around these have been here for at least 20 years let's move on and keep our eyes peeled these guys can't hurt us but the survivors might we need to get to the Lenin Square station 
Well, radiation's nominal. I'm not taking a fucking mask off. I don't know if gas masks would actually protect you from radiation or not. Uh, it would probably protect you from radioactive particles in the dust, but don't think it'd be more than that. Yeah, well, I'm almost out of shotgun shells. Unless there's some survivors deeper in the metros. Just turn the lights off. Why would it even give me the ability to do that? People slept down here. Yeah, that would be not good. The water's gotta be freezing if not. Well, I'd say irradiated, but uh, like, I, like I've said before, water doesn't really retain radiation very well. There are 
The radioactive materials would just kind of sit at the bottom. It, it sinks. Because water is not a solid, it doesn't retain radiation very well. That's why, okay, I'm gonna go on a tangent here. That's why when you see in movies and fallout and whatever, the barrels of radioactive waste, that's not very accurate. Because your actual radioactive waste is mostly solid. And it's mostly concrete. And they're stored in lead-lined barrels. So, radioactive sludge isn't accurate. That's a myth of cartoons. Seems rubbish. That's why the human body actually retains radiation pretty well, is because our blood is thicker than water, so it actually... It does retain radiation, because it's thick enough, it's solid enough. And... Well, you're also solid, you're also pretty solid, too. You know, fleshy bits. So these things don't like the light. There's something in the water. We better get out. Lead the way. These things remind me of the of the tongue grabbers and fucking Half Life. That's just what they remind me of. We could get out here. Ah, there's the tinnitus. Execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too. Probably. Oscom Rapid Response Group Commander, Lieutenant Snowback name. You are hereby ordered to deliver the captured rioters to the special department and move out to take defensive positions to Serbiskiya Station at once. Lieutenant General Vinogradov. Looks like a jail. These people died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the rim. Come on. And watch out. Ah! <laughs> this isn't our metro. With nobody to help us here if anything happens. You break a leg, you crawl back to the Aurora alone. I can't turn back before I find that medicine. I understand. Let's move. Just watch where you're going from now on. We've lost enough time already. That leads to the tunnel. Touch them. Look at this dust. Seems solid enough. Let's go.
station's outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war after all. Huh. Seems like the metros are pretty clutch. Hmm. Rusted out rifle. Hmm. Oh, they've been defending with these armored trolleys. And when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Oh, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. It is better. Life built on a lie. Or death born out of two. What? I feel... Strange. Are we getting into the supernatural shit now? Ghosts of the Metro. I have a bad feeling about this. That's a fresh body. No, it's not. Are you alright? I'm seeing things too. Ghosts of the past, yes. Yeah, we're getting back into the supernatural shit. I say shit, I don't mean that in a negative light. Let's check that game out. It should lead to the next station. Oh. What was that? There. Again. God, they're everywhere. Scary thought. At least we're alive. Let's open that gate. Give me a hand, Artyom. Come on. I'm just making sure nothing's going to crawl out of this. We're back closer, or we're closer to the surface again. Radiation's climbing. Oh, I see those ceiling 
defenders. Chlorine. The bastards just gassed the whole station. Hence the Hecatomb. And they sure didn't joke around here. to prevent new attacks. I'm looking. In response to your request, number 13217A, I hereby report that during the interrogation, the captured have stated that the main motivation behind their participation in the mass riots was the general dissatisfaction with their economic social status. Quotes, we work our asses off in these dirty tunnels and you fuckers have a classy living up and you fuckers have a classy living down there. I haven't eaten a fill of meat in ten years, though I'm raised though I am raising them pigs at a farm. We only get one measly dose of green stuff a month, which is fucking nothing, while you fuckers pack bags full of stuff. Still, the final push for them to join the riots was the group leader puts it an alleged conspiracy at as the OSCOM leadership. Do you think that we're disar dismantling those cars and the boonies we don't know shit? Boy, you are wrong about that. We know it all. The committee, bigwigs, are setting up to flee the city like the rats they are, so they are hogging all the green stuff. Ain't that so? You're going to leave us here to die. We know it since winter. We, why did they take off, take half, why did they have to take half our guys topside to clear out the tracks? Why the sudden order to bring out, bring the diesel online? It's packed in, it's been packed here for ages. We're about to take it apart. And now you want us to fix it? Don't think we're dumber than rocks. After the interrogation, the rioters, due to them being undeniably guilty of sabotage, we're handed off to the disposal unit as per standard procedure. So the people in charge just left these people to die. I wonder if they made it out. All of the metro systems were built similarly, so there should be a ventilation well. Makes you wonder. Should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there to the next track tunnel. Chatter. 
Oh, here. Oh! Just a kid. Wait! Come on, I'll give you a boost. Easy, kid. Hey, easy, kid. I don't want to hurt you. I mean, the kid's scared. Easy, kid. Hold up. Didn't go through there. You got guts, kid. I respect that. This way. The station's nearby. Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the east. We're close, Artie. Yeah, we ain't from around here. Ah, 
And that's all my shotgun shells. Okay? Okay, oh my god, I've been going for close to an hour. So, this is a good place to end this. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Metro Exodus as we keep pushing through these tunnels and hopefully find a cure. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.